But I was in Australia a couple of years ago. <laughs> and we were out in the middle of Aboriginal and <laughs> out in the middle of Ayers Rock and we were in Alice Springs and I thought Alice Springs is going to be like this paradise but it was full of Aboriginal lads lying down like winos and homeless and I was going oh man there's problems everywhere got any ginge man yeah good day and then still Can I, my borrowing and trying to get money off us going into the shop yeah. and we got this jeep anyway and what we wanted to do was we wanted to go out into the desert and drive for days and head down towards Uluru Ayers Rock oh yeah so we got this big seven litre Toyota Land Cruiser, excuse me, and we said we'll set off. We went to the drive through place for the beer, we got all the supermarket stuff and we got gallons and gallons and gallons of water and we had an extra, extra <laughs> cans of petrol and gas and diesel left that we needed. We were self-sufficient for a 650 kilometre journey through the Australian desert in high summer. Hmm. Four or five hours into the journey I'm driving. There be dogs dead of the heat inside the, the heat, road. and it's where the left <laughs> and right <laughs> just singed, singed. Birds eating them. Singed, just desert and singedness. Singedness. <laughs> <laughs> where are you getting the word? Do you know that when you singe your hand on your singedness. cooking? Singedness. Do you ever, do you ever, do you ever singe your hand and you burn the hairs at the cooker and you smell it? Yes. That was the smell of singed singedness. desert. So we're driving along, and this is this. Riders to the sea. Riders to the sea and Riders to the storm with Jim Morrison on. The playboy of the Western world. So we're driving along and then I said to the boys... John Millington Singe. <laughs> we could see nothing. We could see nothing for hours except desert. And then I said to the boys, boys, I think there's something happening in front of us here. I can see these flashing lights way in the distance. And Are you I driving? Look, I'm driving. And I can see that the heat of the, coming up off the, of the one asphalt tarmac thing. And as I said to Roscoe, I said, Roscoe, and he was half asleep and revving in the back asleep because I was on my my driving duty. Three hours on, three hours off. I said, boys, I think there's roadworks here. In the middle of nowhere. So as we approached, saw the digger, saw a couple of lads and they were shuddering cement. Seemingly there's a little bit of a flash flooding and they were fixing this bridge in the middle of nowhere. And I said, lads, I swear to God, Roscoe, roll that camera. I guarantee oh, you there's yeah. somebody from Ireland here. Can you imagine? There's got to be somebody on construction. If this is a construction thing in the middle of nowhere, I bet you there's an Irish lad. I said to camera, we'll get a piece of TV out of this. That's the type of stuff we were doing. Hopping out of the car. Roscoe goes, ready. He hopped out. I go, Tommy, shot. A lot of was can show. 3K kilometre. Oh, Alice Springs. Tommy, you got throw. Airs rock. It's fake. Tal chidig togol. Tal construction or shul. Mastu will ain't air near show. I bet you there's some Irish here. Went over. Two local guys, Aboriginal. How are you doing, boys? How's it going? I said, oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're fixing this. It's uh, just mending this bridge. We're out here for about three weeks. We'll do it now in the dry season and then we'll head back. And then I said to the lad, is there any Irish here? He said, of course there is, mate. Over there. Went over down the side, right? So Went over down the side and there was an arse. He was down shuddering cement and I saw the top I, of his I, arse I, I and I saw it. the crack of his arse yes. and he had a big Stetson on him and he's down <laughs> cement shuddering in and I went... Are you from Ireland? And he goes, How are you doing, boy? <laughs> and this is in the middle of Australia. I said, Where are you, where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Westmead. Give me a minute. <laughs> Hang on a second there. <laughs> so he fucking comes up then, right? And he goes, How are you, lads? And he's in his, I'd say he's in his 40s, late 40s. Stetson on him, wiry, unshaven. Country accent, Westmead, and I says, "Ah, oh, good." And we shaking hands. What are you doing here, lads? Oh, I said, "We're down here for three months. We're filming a show for TG4." Jesus Christ! What brings you here? Blah blah blah. Great chat, lovely man, Westmead. How long are you down here? I'm down here about thirty three years. He said, thirty three years in Australia. And I love it. Never go home. I said, that's incredible. Lovely chat, got a photo and headed off. Just great to see another Irish brother in a remote part of the world. Wow, man. Three months later. I am at the uh, ploughing championships. My sons are like five and six years of age and they're into tractors. And uh, there was a, there's a toy store at the ploughing championships that sells really good farm toy machinery, really good replicas, like really good tractors. So I was searching for that. And uh, I walk by the Massey Ferguson stand and a lad comes out to me and he goes, Hector! Oh yeah, can we get a photo? No problem. It goes already. And he puts the arm around me. He's one of the reps for Massey Ferguson. I says, uh, do you want a t-shirt for the kids or something like that? I said, yeah, no problem. They love tractors. He says, come on in and get you something. And he says, uh, get in the photo. He put the arm around me and he said, 
you made a woman very happy. Hector, you made an old woman very happy. I says, what do you mean? He says, you won't believe what I'm going to tell you. Come on in here for a second. We went into sort of the prefab where they sell the tractors. And he said, I'm going to tell you something now. <clears throat> you made a very, a, a, a neighbour of mine, an old woman, very, very happy. And I says, what do you mean? He said, you remember you were down in Australia there a couple months ago? We saw the show on TG Cahar. He says, I says, yeah. He says, you remember you were out in the middle of the desert? I said, I was, yeah. He says, you met a man from Westmead. I said, I did. He says, well, I'm next door neighbour to that family. And that mother hadn't seen her son in 33 years. And she thought he was dead a long, long time ago. Oh, Jesus. And the next thing she saw him on your show. And you made an old, old woman very, very happy. And I didn't know what to say. I just said, wow, what a fucking coincidence that that could happen. Wow. Isn't that mad? Mm. Yeah. That that man had never returned home. But what a great story. That's a you f- made an old woman very, very happy.